we're back. Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Von Real playing something a little bit different this time around. Today we are going to be playing the demo version of a game called Coming Out on Top. If you're unfamiliar with this game, this actually had a Kickstarter about a year ago um, that went way above and beyond the goals that it set, and so it's going to be released by the end of the year. And th what this is is basically a gay dating sim. And if you're unfamiliar with dating sims, they're basically games, as I go to the options menu here, where your goal is to interact with other characters as the main character and build up a relationship with them. And at the end of the game, usually you typically pick one person to be your desired romantic partner, and that's how you beat the game, and you have usually a happily ever, a a happily ever after. Um, but in addition to that, you have to juggle other things, like your interactions with friends, and all of that stuff. But more pressing, you can actually change the appearance of the people that appear in the game that you're going to potentially date by um, going to the options menu, and you can choose to give them all beards or all chest hair, and I prefer to have all of them have both, actually, because that's kind of what I'm into. Uh, I recommend you download the demo yourself if you're interested in playing and modify the people to your own specifications. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to give you all a quick little spiel about this game. Um, if you're unfamiliar, I don't know if you know, one of the main appeals of a dating sim is that it rewards your success in your relationships with people, often with sexual options and I'm personally going to avoid anything that's too explicit, and what I mean by that is I'm going to avoid any scenes that prompt nudity, or like have explicitly sexual dialogue talking about my wing-wang or whatnot. Um, and if you are into that, again, I recommend downloading the demo so you can experience it yourself. I'm going to play a relatively chaste run, because I'm trying to keep myself saved for the, the upcoming rapture. Um, and I don't want that stain upon my soul. So anyway, in the meantime, let's go ahead and read the instructions. And I'm going to give you another spiel real quick, too. Um, I actually secretly have dyslexia. I've never mentioned that. Um, and so it's kind of hard for me to read all of these long strings of dialogue. So I'm going to paraphrase a lot of them. And some of them aren't too necessary, so I'm going to actually leave some of them out. Um, in part, because this is not pl planned to be like an in-depth playthrough. It's kind of just supposed to be cute and shit. So I recommend you, again, play the demo yourself if you want to hear all that dialogue. Anyway, this is basically explaining that you can use the mouse wheel to scroll backwards and re-go through dialogue if you want to and to re-choose your options, and that's pretty important in a game like this. Anyway, let's go ahead and start up. So, hi, Mark Matthews. Or would you like to be called something else? I am going to change my name to Big B Bad Von Real. There we go. And that's going to be my first name. So I'm going to delete my last name because I don't want a last name. Um, and I like that because I just like being referred to as my last name, or my first name anyway, so... It's no big deal. Anyway, Big Bad Von Real, you are a senior at Orland University. Actually, let me break it down for you. So, the, the your role in the story is that you're an awkward nerd, you're going to awkward nerd college, and you're going to engage in awkward nerd awkwardness, and it's going to be great. Um, and what you're about to do is come out extremely awkwardly to your friends, um, and you've been nervous about it all day. And so, naturally, um, your friends are going to heckle you a little bit, and it's going to be cute. There will be faces they'll make. Um, it'll be adorable. It'll be great. You'll love it. But anyway, <clears throat> you call your roommates, Penny and Ian, into the living room. <clears throat> so, what's the big news, Big Bad Von Real? And this is Penny, of course. Um, she's pretty lovely. I enjoy her character model. You're going to tell me what a fantastic roommate I am and how you'd like to bend me over that cab... How you want me to do the dishes. Uh, he is really cute, by the way. I have, I have trouble looking at him without blushing. But anyway, these guys are my best friends, apparently. We've shared everything together. Hopes, fears, dreams, playlists. Um, toothbrushes. 
It was an accident, I swear. You say that almost every morning, Ian. Guys? Oh, sorry. Go on, Big Bad. Tell us what you gotta say. Alright. So... Um... I'm also gonna make this partially a review, by the way, so I'm gonna add my commentary onto some things. Um, you clear your throat. Sweat beats across your forehead. Beats? Okay, yeah, that, that's a little bit awkward. Beats across your forehead. Given you're my most loyal, trustworthy friends, there's been something I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, I'm gonna try to go with the more interesting options than, like, be, like, realistic. Um, I'm gay, high five. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's, that's totally something I would do. Um, is this, like, some sort of solidarity thing? Like, when people say, we are all one race, the human race? That's actually really obnoxious to me, by the way. Okay, then, I'm gay too, high five. Ian, stop it. You're making me blush. <laughs> Guys, I'm serious. Dot, dot, dot. Um, continued dot dot dot, um, guys, dot dot dotting intensifies. I've just let you in on the biggest announcement of my life. How about a little reassurance? I think the dialogue in this game is kind of awkward sometimes, to be honest. Anyway, wow. Wow, one 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 exclamation point. Big bad bond real. This is major. Wow, exclamation point, exclamation point, one one exclamation point. Now I know why you've been ignoring all those girls busting down your bedroom door. Oh god, Penny, just because Big Bad Bon Real won't date your weirdo cousin doesn't mean he's gay. My cousin is not a weirdo, you asshole. She carries around her own spork and won't eat without one. That's seven leagues of deep into weirdo territory. You stop staring at me with that cute face. They are very... The creator of this game made, did a very good job making their faces very emotive. They're, they're very well designed. Although I do think Penny's lipstick tends to disappear sometimes. But in any case... Anyway, I have another cousin you might be interested in, Big Bad Von Real. Philbert, of the male persuasion. Jeez, Penny. Quit pawning off your freaky family tree on him. Look, I'm just excited, okay? Big bad Bon Real. I'm really happy you told us. Good for you. We can talk about my cousin later. Aw, Ian's like frowning. Do you have anything to say to me, Ian? <clears throat> well, Matthews, if you don't enter in a last name, it just automatically puts Matthews in, which kind of annoys me, but whatever. Well, Matthews, I for one am disappointed. I was really, really hoping you were going to announce you'd be doing the dishes today. But about the whole gay thing, like, serious me, man, good for you. I feel privileged you shared this with us. That took a lot of guts. So what's it like to finally be out, dude? See, the dialogue in this game is a little bit campy, and I don't mean, like, that particular last line, but it has its own charm. But I do think that some of the deliveries of the lines are kind of a little bit cheesy or a little bit not flowy. It just kind of seems weird that certain characters would say words and I think it's mostly when there are long strings of dialogue because some characters seem just about right but like Jeb is really written well but in any case so now I'm just reveling in the, the glory of come out dumb and having emotions and feelings all over the place BBB we should commemorate your big day oh my god I'm gonna have a coming out party this is great Oh, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck was that for? I'm taking a photo of you with my tanning spray app. It's my latest project. It takes your photo and makes you look like a douchebag. Alright, so let's look at me photo. Oh, girl, you look orange. Holy shit. Um, I swear, once I get all the bugs out, it's gonna sell a million units. You gotta help me beta test this. Penny, I didn't think it was possible but I think you may have surpassed your last app in idiocy. What happened to the last project of yours? Campus Mapper, was it? Wasn't it supposed to, like, help people find their classes or something, but instead people kept ending up in traffic? It had a couple of bugs, but, I mean, nothing major. I remember you were testing it out the day we met, actually. 
If you hadn't yelled, watch out, I wouldn't have stepped right into an open drain and landed on the bodies of your beta testers. Shut your fucking mouth, Ian. Campus Mapper is <laughs> still in beta. I'm gonna be a millionaire once tanning spray is released. And who will you be? The guy who cleans the monkey cages at the zoo? I'm sorry, I was I got a bit distracted. I was staring at his pector pectorals. Anyway, um I also get to uh get to wait, no, that's about it. Oh, he's making a frowny face. <laughs> Oh my god. God damn it. Okay, so here's the plan, BBB. It's time to celebrate. Let's head to Charlie's. Uh, Charlie's? It's the only gay bar in this area. Jesus, Penny, do you realize it's been only like a couple of seconds since it came out? Seconds. Ian, are you, are you perturbed? Oh, relax. It'll be fun. Besides, there's something I gotta check out there. Ian, why don't you join us? Nah, I gotta head over to Zoe's. Her again? I can never tell when you two are together. How many times have you broken up now? Yeah, well, we're about to have the talk. Here's hoping she dumps me before I have to help her get into her new place. You know, Ian, call me wacky, but you could always just be an adult and fucking break it off first. What? No, people would totally think I was dumping her just to avoid helping her move. What was I thinking? I roll. Anyway, sorry to bail, man, but yeah. Anyway, bye, Ian. I imagine she just shoved him out of the door. Anyway, so that's kind of an example of this game since of humor. It's, it's pretty cute. Um, and so now I'm going to be faced with the option of naming my fish, and I'm going to go ahead and name my fish Swaggy Jr. There we go. Swaggy Jr. It's named after my Scraggy in Pokemon X and Y. Anyway, I get the option of going to a bar or not, and I'm going to choose to go to the bar. She agreed to be our designated driver, so I'm going to get crunk. Um, in the meantime, she's asking, uh, we're having some little chit chat here. I think some of the, the dialogue here is a little bit awkward. Um, not not like the, the situation, but some of the words you they use, but I guess that might just be me. But anyway, so uh, apparently my character talks in his sleep and talks about man-ass, which is great. And now she's asking if I've touched Wiener before. And I'm awkwardly shuffling around trying to avoid saying anything too embarrassing while she recites what is either terrible fan fiction or equally terrible gay porn um, <laughs> about locker room hijinks let's see if I can read some of this and he goes right there man the spot beneath my balls just don't talk to me anymore yeah yeah okay Anyway, I hope y'all were reading that, because again, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read all of the dialogue for you. I, I hope that you get the demo. Anyway, oh my gosh, I love the ambience. So BBB, what do you want in your cup? Uh gimme a... let's 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 go with whiskey, yeah. Penny steps up to the bar. I'm looking around. Trying not to look like a nerd. Sure the crowd is older. Sure there might be a few more men here and there. They're uh, just here to chill out, you know? Hang out with the bros. In the past, you've always been able to hide behind the veil of heterosexuality. And now... This is an entirely new frontier. You sense the weight of several eyes grazing over you. You know, if you are new in a setting like that, like people instantly like lock in on you because they're, they're used to seeing all the regulars. Anyway, someone says hey in your direction. You glance up and see a guy in the corner staring straight back at you. He waves. Uh, I'm gonna wave back. I'm gonna do it. He's not really your type, but you wave back. Paul! Unfortunately, you realize that he was not fucking talking to you, and so you shuffle around like an awkward nerd. Has Penny ordered your drinks yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, one celebratory drink to go. The bartender will have it in just one second. I'll be in the bathroom. I'll be right back. And my character is going to try to run away, because he's a coward. What are you talking about? Already this place seems like a second home. Mm-hmm. 
You sit down and wait for your order. The bartender hands you a drink. You sip it nervously. You peer into your glass. Just as you start to unwind, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Ha, you piss faster than anyone I know. Thanks. Um, oh my. Uh, after years of rigorous training, someone has finally noticed. I had almost given up. Oh my, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought you were somebody else. It's my fault for sneaking up on you. How about we start over? I'm Alex. Can I buy you something? Uh, yeah. Give me, give me another one of these. Whiskey, is it? The good stuff. I'm a Scotchman myself. That word is my favorite. So, how often do you come here? Um, these are some pretty funny choices here. I like the last one. But, I'm gonna actually go with the first one, because I don't want to sound like a dweeb. By the way, I didn't catch your name. It's BBB, or Big Bad Bonreal. Although, funnily enough, you can pick her cousin's name. It's a possible case. In any case, Big Bad Bonreal, I can't believe I just pulled the Do You Come Here Often line. Sorry to cut this short, but maybe we can chat sometime. So this dude just asked us for our number. And this is kind of one of the, I guess, important decisions in a dating sim, if you're going to initiate anything or not. So I just gave him my number and blushed for a while, and now Penny is back. The public bathroom app lists it as one of the best bathrooms in the city, five stars. That's actually really funny, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that anyway. Uh, someone hit on me while you were gone, Penny. Yeah, let me, let me click that. Whoa, you don't waste any time, do you, BBB? Point him out to me. Uh, he had to leave. XD. Anyway, one more drink. Alright, and so we're gonna go ahead and head home now. Back at the apartment, Penny goes to bed. Um, to summarize this, basically I'm worried why that guy hasn't texted me back yet, even though it's the same night. And in addition to that, apparently, my body wants to release the demons of hell from my urethra. As you wash up in the bathroom, you notice something on the floor. You pick it up. It's a tube of lube. It's probably Ian's. Are you kidding? That's fucking gross. That actually is really gross. Don't do that, by the way. <laughs> don't don't use people other people's lube. Anyway, uh, what a night. What now? So I am not going to give in to sins of the flesh, and I'm going to sleep like an angel. There we go, and now it's Monday, the first day of classes. So in these segments, basically, you get to catch up with Ian um, or Penny. You basically like walk to class together and you chit-chat about stuff, and it's kind of how you get to learn more about them. And I'm going to tell Ian that this guy hit on me, and he's going to awkwardly fumble around. And this is kind of like not the first time you notice but like you notice that ian's really awkward with you when you talk about your homosexuality or like just guys in general um and as you know he is a potential dating partner so there might be a connection there i'm just saying but anyway let's let's look at the dialogue here uh yeah he's awkwardly fumbling i rub my eyes and I'm going to apologize to him because I kind of snapped at him during that dialogue. Um, and I said that it was because I was cranky because I was tired. And apparently he still has not broken up with his girlfriend and he's sad about that. Uh, and also, apparently the course I'm taking is anatomy. Which Ian took in the past and he got a C plus in it. And we also learn that our character is actually like a giant super nerd who's really smart and does well in school. And a tutor, which is actually important for later. Um, that's another thing that's important, is that you actually have to keep up with your grades in this game. Um, not necessarily have to, but like if you focus more on social stuff, you'll actually get behind on schoolwork and stuff, and you'll pr underperform. But anyway, now we're in the auditorium. The lecture hall begins to fill up with freshmen. They're small and annoying and talk a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just then, this dude walks in, and apparently it's someone who's... A, oh my god, hey, it's him from the bar, lol. This... this can't be happening. 
Hello class, I'm Professor Davies, and I'm going to teach you about anatomy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably going to make some wacky anatomy jokes. Um, probably some shitty puns. And now he's just staring at us. Well, not really, but the mice. Anyway, so I awkwardly st stay in class and feel really un uncomfortable, and then I, like, rush out of the auditorium. But, he followed me out, and now, shit, <laughs> I have to confront him. Could we talk privately for a moment? My office is right down the hall. You feel your stomach drop. Your heart begins to race. You hope to God Alex can't tell how nervous you are. Um, and you, you smell the smell of a man on him, and it gets you dizzy. Big Bad Bonreal, I had no idea you attended this school. I need to not use that voice for him. Well, I couldn't fathom a, a student from this college would be in a bar so far away. Miscalculation on my part. Apparently, that's the only gay bar in the city we met him at. Um, but I want to assure you as a professor, it'd be inappropriate for me to pursue a relationship with you. So that's pretty important, actually. But, we need to actually cut the video here, so I'm going to leave y'all in suspense and replay the previous few frames of this in the next episode. So I'll catch y'all later, I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!